Did you know that we have channel memberships now? If you'd like to help support this channel, get some exclusive Koobana emotes to use in the comments, as well as an exclusive badge by your name, click that join button now to find out more. Every bit of support really helps. Thanks guys. So I was reading the May issue of Moo when I came across this mystery that is, quite frankly, so bizarre and hilarious that I have to cover it here. You all know I love a good stupid story, and this one is certainly up there. I read through the article, I did some further digging online, and this one is fantastic in how dumb but also actually mysterious it is, so let's take a look. This week's mystery is very simple. It all began with a tweet posted by horror manga writer Yosuken. You can see that tweet right here. It features a coin that has turned green with age and is accompanied by the text, What happened to you in just two years? The kanji on the coin points out that it was made during the opening year of the Dewa era, meaning it was minted in 2019. The tweet was shared on December 14th, 2021, meaning that in two short years, this coin somehow got so damaged and weathered that it looked like it was many, many decades older than it actually was. Now, I had numerous coins when I lived in Japan that looked just like this, all of them terribly old. It's not uncommon to see coins that are many decades old that get this green tint to them from the hard lives they've led, but even then, it's still not terribly common. Not uncommon, but not common either. But the problem here is that this coin was only two years old. It shouldn't be possible for it to look this way in such a short time, and that's where the mystery came in. The tweet quickly went viral, and as of this video has roughly 11,000 retweets and over 90,000 likes. All for a minty green coin that's had a rough few years. Seems a bit silly for there to be so much fuss over a simple coin, right? Article after article popped up on the internet looking at this strange coin and how it could possibly look so green and weathered in such a short time. This type of tint tends to happen to coins when they react to the oxygen, carbon dioxide, salt and moisture in the air over many, many years. This is a process that takes a terribly long time. So how could it happen to a coin only two years old? Naturally, the internet tried to explain this strange coin in the only way it knows how. Maybe it was cremated with a dead body so the person's spirit could use it to cross the Sanzu River. Maybe it sat at the bottom of the ocean for a few years. Maybe it had literally been to hell and back. Or maybe, just maybe, it traveled to a parallel world where it saw some stuff before returning to our own world. As the story goes, it was Yosuken's wife who found the coin. Shortly before 11pm on December 13th, his wife returned from the convenience store and took the coin out of her wallet to show him. One of his hobbies was cleaning dirty coins, so she figured he'd like it. She apparently got it as change from the vending machine, and she was amazed when she saw the year written on the coin. Despite looking several decades old, at the very least, it was dated only two years prior. That same night, a few hours later, Yosken uploaded an image of the coin to his Twitter, where it then went viral. Despite his hobby, he didn't clean the coin, figuring it more prudent to figure out how it got in such a state in the first place. It wasn't every day you saw something like this, after all. And it wasn't just the colour, either. The coin was covered in numerous tiny scratches and dings, highlighting that it had been a rough two years for the coin. Hasn't it been for all of us? There's a comparison to be made somewhere in here, I'm sure. Anyway, in an effort to get to the bottom of this coin that had a rough life, journalists interviewed a publicist from the Japan Mint to figure out how such a thing could be possible. Yes, this made it all the way back to the Japan Mint. Upon seeing the coin, the publicist replied that it was uncertain how the coin got to look like that, but it certainly was possible for it to happen in such a short amount of time. There was 
Nothing weird or supernatural about it. The problem, however, was that under normal usage, this shouldn't be possible. Normal usage, of course, being the coin passing through numerous hands, stores, vending machines, etc. over the brief two-year period of its life. So, according to the people who made the coin, yes, this aged effect was entirely possible in such a short time. They just weren't sure how it actually happened. This was the crux of the mystery, and something that hasn't been solved to this day. How? What happened to this poor coin to take it from a shiny and lively newborn to a weathered and jaded coin that looked decades older than its actual age? Something else I'm sure we can all sympathise with these last few years, I'm sure. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Moo, it's a magazine that focuses on all sorts of weird occult stuff. It's full of UFO sightings, conspiracy theories, cryptids, cults, etc, etc. Basically the Japanese equivalent of Western tabloids that post Bigfoot sightings and such. It's not something that's taken seriously by many, if any people, but for pure entertainment value, well, it can be unrivaled at times, depending on how dumb you want your conspiracy theories to go. Anyway, after speaking to Yosuken and seeing the coin for themselves, Mu came up with a fantastic theory to explain the unexplainable in a way only they know how. The coin had travelled through a parallel dimension. Never mind that the publicist from the Japan Mint confirmed that such a weathered effect was entirely possible. Clearly, this had to be supernatural, and the only way to reconcile the coin's age with its look was that it went through some real shit in another world before returning to ours. But not just any world. It travelled to a parallel dimension where the world's superpowers were all taking part in a nuclear war and it was the atmospheric effects of that that caused the coin to age so rapidly. Then, somehow, the coin travelled back to our world to end up in a convenience store vending machine somewhere so a manga artist could tweet about it. Because of course, as one reader said, 100 points for entertainment value. Although I personally preferred the Moo sure has a lot of free time, huh? Comment myself. Responses to the article were about what you'd expect. But at the end of the day, this odd little mystery still remains just that. A mystery. It's still unclear how the coin got into such a terrible state in such a short period of time. With what we know about how these coins work, the most likely answer is that it suffered some environmental abuse for the majority of those two years. Maybe it really did sit in the ocean for a while, or maybe it lay in a gutter under constant rain and other weather abuse. It's unlikely we'll ever know, but hey, at the very least, we got a neat parallel dimension story out of it. But what do you guys think about this one? What could have possibly happened to this poor coin? Have you ever seen any mystery similar to this one? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.